There's the bell. We're off and running with this first time ever encounter as Britt Baker takes on the debuting Tennille Dashwood. Now, there's a bit of bone contention here with Tennille's debut in AIW. Matt, you and I, with a few others, lobbied for this show to be entitled The Captain and Tennille, somehow working Lewis Linden into the, the, the picture work of this, but we were shot down by the marketing team. Yeah, uh, you know, I get it. I'm all for it. I get the reference. I think uh, Steve Guy, you and I are the only ones in the building that would have. Maybe Wayne and, Paul. And maybe worldwide. Maybe worldwide. But he's wise beyond his years. Wayne Palmer, that would have been right up his alley. But I think other than that, most of the fans here would have completely missed that one. Britt in control here. Tanil looking for a way out of this hole. Look at that. A really nice escape there. Rolling through, not staying on the canvas for a long time, using Britt's own momentum, pulling her into the side headlock. Well, that's the thing that many forget. Tanil Dashwood didn't get a lot of spotlight in her time with WWE, didn't have a lot of time to shine. But anybody who watched even one of her final matches there against Asuka knows she is more than capable in the ring. You know, she's not someone who was a model signed off the street. She was a professional wrestler before her time there. She is a professional wrestler now, and she is quite capable. I was explaining to uh, Gary from Smartmark what you just mentioned there in regards to the former Emma, now Tennille Dashwood, and what she brings to the squared circle. Again, no slouch, no pushover. And she's in there with someone who herself, no slouch, no pushover, in Britt Baker, who has fought some of not only the toughest women to ever come through AIW, but also some of the toughest men ever to come through AIW. Well, it is an interesting little combination of, of women with something to prove right now. Tennille Dashwood obviously wants to prove that she was capable of so much more than she was given the opportunity to show in WWE. Britt Baker trying to show that she deserves to be on that stage. She's one of the top up-and-coming female professional wrestlers, obviously very familiar to hear us here at, here at AIW, AIW's sweetheart, as you heard Steve Guy call her, has spent quite a bit of her time really honing her craft here in AIW, and is poised to become one of the top names in independent wrestling among female competitors. Well, and again, I will say this, and I don't want to disparage Britt's in-ring capabilities, but this is more to kind of showcase what sort of person she is just in general, because not only has she been competing regularly, not only here in AIW, but also in a slew of other promotions all across the United States, she's also currently in the process, no less than three months away from having her doctorate in dentistry. I was just fantastic, it's incredible. And as I say that, you look here, she's using what she's learned in her doctorate's dentistry, implementing it into her professional wrestling. You see the way that she's manipulating the jaw, the way that she's got the fingers underneath the chin to put even more pressure on there. In her studies, looking at x-rays, studying the intricacies of the jaw, the tongue, everything from the mouth. You don't know how many pressure points that are in there, how many ways there are to incapacitate a person. Britt Baker knows that information. Well, and it really is the jaw is a very underestimated target. It can be very easy to dislocate a person's jaw, and when you do that, you disrupt their ability to breathe. It becomes very difficult. Your mouth hangs open, it's a target, it interrupts your capabilities. But speaking of interrupting your capabilities, beautiful drop toe hold by Tennille Dashwood into the corner, and that cross body just driving Britt back, nowhere to go into that bottom turnbuckle against the two power. And you see now Tennille slowing the pace down. She's in control of the contest. If she attempts to speed things up, she could very quickly or easily lose control of the contest. Nice escape there, draping Tennille across the top strand by Britt as she is trying to mount some sort of offense. Oh, and gets suckered right in. Gets well, kicked. That's the thing. She bought herself some time, but is still feeling the effects of that cross body having the wind knocked out of her. So much so that Tennille was able to recover even faster than Britt could hope to. 
Right now, Tennille keeping herself entertained with the streamers that some of our fans were throwing. She doesn't want to underestimate her opponent. She gave Britt all kinds of time to recover. She paid for it with that forearm shot. Britt headed, headed to get a beer from ringside. Grabbing a beer off of Steve Guy's table. I'm surprised he didn't bite her hand out. A toast with one of the fans at ringside. And oh! Just booted by Tennille. And we talked about Britt working over the jaw and the mouth. She might need to see one of her colleagues after that kick. Again, New York's loss is our gain here as Tennille now back in control of this contest. Oh, elbow right to the shoulder, right where the neck meets the shoulder. Listen, as much as we say, obviously, Britt is someone on the rise. Tennille is someone trying to establish that she still belongs, that she's still capable. If you've been paying attention, you talk about New York's loss, some of AIW's loss in recent months has become quite oh. prevalent on their women's roster up there. Some of their recent women's title feuds have looked like a regular girls' night out. Well, so again, it's it's AIW's job to innovate. Let everyone else take what we're doing here. That'll just uh, mean we just grow and grow bigger. Nice close on there by Tennille. You gotta think both of these two know as those recent call-ups, call I guess you could call it, have shown that there's some eyes watching on AIW. And they have a huge opportunity to make a big impression. Referee Tom Dunn putting the count on both competitors here. Tennille, the first one up, scores with a forearm shot. Tennille and Britt just exchanging shots. Britt drops Tennille with that forearm. Tennille right back up with one of her own, but Britt does not back down. Britt Irish whip reversal by Tennille, but the neck breaker from Britt, she's right back up with another one of those shots. Boot to the midsection. And a fisherman style swinging neck breaker. Cover, hook of the leg, one, two. Not enough to keep Tennille down, but Britt is still fighting in this one. Britt to her feet, Tennille is right behind her. Britt is in, Tennille sees it coming, she's out of the way. And now driving her into that top turnbuckle time and again. Now looking to pull her out, setting up. And Tennille with a tarantula on Britt Baker. Britt just dropping as Tennille gets the cover, only able to get the two. Tennille at this point. I think going into her own arsenal. Starting to see a little bit of the fatigue setting in on both competitors. You see Britt Favor in that left arm. Wants well, to think so many bodies in this gymnasium that I can't imagine. We're sweating just sitting here. I can't imagine what it's like for the competitors in the ring trying to keep up this pace. That fatigue setting in even faster. The sweat making it extremely hard to do things like the submission that Britt Baker is cinching in. <laughs> Referee Tom Dunn right there. Tennille trying to get her foot around, trying to get to those ropes, turning her body. Right, Tennille fighting here. Oh, she was almost, 
she gets there. She gets just a toe to the bottom rope, but that's all she needs to break. That's all it takes. Now one more time, cinching back, and he talked about targeting that jaw, but Tennille rolling her up. Britt trying to get a little too cute with the submission. Tennille rolled her up, but Tennille eats. And Britt Court and comes right back, boot square on the temple, and that's all it's gonna take. Tennille Dashwood.